Welcome back. Uh, this week I'm not going to be playing anything horrifying because last week scared the shit out of me. So I'm going to come Hello, relax. off to the island, eh, boss? With Shindig. Great little windy game. Um, and yeah, we get When a, we get there, get a party going for a load of with a rope, yeah. And speaking of little animals, this is OG. A ship like me can bear you anywhere, boss. We'll be there in a jiffy. Maybe joining me today. Alright, boss. First off, go in that hatch and get the rope out. Give the hatch a bit of a interact, yeah? Now I had already got quite far Nice through this one, game. boss! Grab the rope and into your inventory it goes. It was not on my profile, so I bought a fix this up on Steam. I can start it again. Right. Drag the rope down to this little loop here and I'll do the rest. They say, if you move your pointer to the top of the screen, your inventory appears, as if by magic. Love that owl. I also really love Lee's. Uh, you see this friendly nautical theme, smell of the seas, literally waves, it's like all of the uh, sound files are. Thank you. So I've given myself Robot Republic coloured hair. Nice one, boss. Laters! Over here, friend. And one really Come sit down, here. Jim. This guy, Axel, that's who's talking right now. Hell you. Yes, this pig is amazing. So glad you could make it. I love this pig. I'm Baxter. I sent out the missive asking for party planning help, and you're the wish that came true. I'm super stoked to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. There's a lot to do, so I'll get straight to business. Everyone's a bit down in the snout, but a party <laughs> always brings us together. Party prep is usually my thing, but I can't do it this time. That's where you... I need you to bring me a few things that spell a fine shindig. If it's alright, I'd like to deliver the deets via the gift of some. Please do, Baxter. Please do. Sing it, Piggy. That's a bit rude now, I say that loud. All right. Crabby crew, would you oblige? Gonna have ourselves a shindig. Putting on my banging shoes. Decorate it up real bright. Have a little kick too. Gonna have refreshing drinks tonight. Everybody is a feeling so fine. Gonna have ourselves a shindig, shindig. Everybody at the shindig. Best pig ever. Did you get all that? Yeah. Bring me decorations, music, drinks, and cake, and we'll be all set. Got it. Great. Good job, lads. All done. <laughs> I just know that everything's going to turn out piggity boo. Where do I start? Everyone's looking forward to meeting you, so go get to know your lovely new neighbours. I'm sure everyone will help out however they can. <laughs> Here, take this map of the island. As you explore, places will automatically fill in, so you can go there real quick. Nifty! This hut is your home base. 
Make sure you check back often. You never know what might happen. Hmm? Anywho, I'll let you settle in. Toodles! <laughs> See you later. We'll just pig. Alright, let's go into my house. There's some great radio going on. Crabbing to do! Crab coming through! Brilliant. Yeah, this is a lot nicer than Pets for games. <laughs> what are you doing, dog? What are you doing? There. Dog. There you go. Right, radio on. Okay, radio off apparently. Friend O Island Radio One Friend O Island Radio One oh one point nine FM Get your automotive deals the pig wigging wheels I'm Big Bonus. And I'm Little Extra. And that's what you'll find in our deals. We've got big cars, small cars, pink cars, blue cars, all the kinds of cars. Come on down for bargains. Have over feast. I am um, only got as far as those deals. guys last time I played. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Right, let's head into town. Now there's this one guy. He first gets to town, but people seem to like him. And I mean, I don't hate him because he's a lovely guy, but look. A little creepy. Halt, potential friend. And this thing is so sweet and nice, but I don't know if I'd want to hug it. My name is Milo, the Venus Hug Trap. Mm. Please heed my warning. Please only step onto my mat if you consent to a cuddle. It's kind of a reflex. I mean, it would Do be nice to have a hug one. right now. Yeah, I reckon. I do. Needs a bit much, but. Ah, mm. oh, that does feel like racing. Wonderful. The warm hug energy will sustain me for quite some time. Please return any time for tasty interactions. You've made me so happy. What I like is this game is just flies in the face of screwed up. This is just pure adorable. Pure happiness. I don't care. Mmm, book smell. Also a great rat coming up. A rock a with a face of. painted on and googly eyes. Big fan of. That's pet rock. Salutations, friend. Do you have a book wish? Not right now. But who might you be? Sorry, I got nervous and forgot to introduce myself. I'm Cornelius the Bookadial, diligent curator of this small but powerful library. I may look fierce, but please don't judge this Bookadial by his cover. And you are the lovely assistant in party prep whose coming was foretold by Baxter in a group email. I'm pleased to meet you. Can you help me with the shindig? Social occasions aren't my strong point. I find them quite stressful. 
But I'll attend and read my book. This is also nice. Like, that is a very relatable start to that. That shall fill my sociable quota for some time. I have been like known to bust a move, but no awesome. promises. You're best to ask another. So sorry. If only I could help, but I'm in a fix my own self. Oh dear, did I say that out loud? You did. Is everything all right? Thank you for your kind concern. Pet Rock wants to turn the page on new adventures, to tumble with abandon. But without Pet Rock to talk to, how will I wind down for bed? I used to meditate by the light of the silvery moon. But outside at night is no place for a Cornelius, no thank you. I do so miss those moonlit meditations, though. I'll keep a lookout for you. See you soon. Thank you, and take care. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do a lemon. Yeah, I'll be back there later. Lemons about. And it's an enjoyable little outfit. You'll see this nice lemon one picture. You think what? You're gonna get times two. Hmm. Hi. Oops. You can keep that. Cheers. Like a lemon. Oh, yeah. Look at this greatness. No times two. No. Whole new picture. Tinctures, herbs, and medicines. Who knows what all these do? I do. <laughs> oh, that's all there. College Welcome education. To the Slurry Apothecary. I'm Agatha, and I'm happy to help you today. Have you need of medicine? Of slurry? Medicine? I don't think so. That's a case where I'm happy not to help you then. <laughs> Good health is the most precious thing we have. Is there anything else I can do for you? I understand you're arranging the party, yes? I am. It's a Bottles would probably help. Otter slurry? Effective remedies for whatever ails you. Made by medical mixologists Agatha and Dorothy. Don't ask what's in it. <laughs> I mean, sounds like otter shit. What's in it? Don't ask what's in it. Can you help me with the party? I can only help with medical supplies. And ideally, parties don't require those. <laughs> I'm racking my brain, but I'm a little sidetracked right now with an utterly huge problem of my own. Great pun work. Problem? Maybe I can help. When my wife and I moved to the island, I lost my favourite juggling rock. Well, I know. Someone I've tried rocks just from all you. over, but none have personality like my old juggling rock. I'm experimenting with keeping a hanky in the fernook where I kept my rock, but it's not the same. Mm. The joy of juggling is like nothing else. Let me know if you find a good, unique rock in your travels, won't you? I'm to rock sure Cornelius. Will. Well, that's all for now, thanks. Come back soon. But hopefully not because you have need of medicine. I don't see any lemons. Do you? What's up, crab? Lobster. Hi. Me the um shark sharkle from Night in the Woods. Hi. Good day coming. to you, good matey! Aye aye. It is I, Phineas, organ grinder extraordinaire! Known for my unique techno melodical rhythm imaginations the world over! A feast for the ears on any other day 
Jane. <laughs> For were it working, you'd marvel at my miraculous music machine and bop along to its addictively cheery tune. Lo, the gears have ground to a halt and the cogs are clogged. A mere oil and clean and it shall sing once more. But the world is full of shade and shadow and oily rags are unforthcoming. In the meantime, I shall learn to play this thing I won in a raffle <laughs> for your edutainment. And to earn my supper, for it would be nice to have supper. Hello, I'm trying to arrange fox. a party. Can you help me out? Oh, thank you for not towering over me. I truly appreciate your thoughtful lunch. A party? I'd like to go to a party. But I doubt I'd be any help arranging one. Hey, you've got I'm an not from around Always here. And even when my gizmo is working, it doesn't dole out dance floor cramming beats. Oh, I'd best get back to learning this thing. Please excuse me, good matey! Oh yeah, I remember this gal now. The octopus. Hello. Look at that, that is definitely a lemon right there. Hands on that. Oh, oh hi, kiddo. The moon. Pleased to meet you. I'm Quinn, the Octo Postmaster. Well spoken. Do There's a voice? package for you on the shelf. After all, you're the New Island resident, aren't you? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. That's a lot of post. It's not so bad. There's just a backlog because the road to the other half of the island is blocked. Honestly, it's a piece of cake. I could sort this with my eyes closed, which is the whole problem, really. <laughs> the whole problem? Sure is. You finally get your dream job and it's okay. But there are parts where it's just a total drag. The sorting letters part only requires one of my several brains. It's such a snore. I guess that's adulting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> I feel you. I overthink things when I'm bored, which makes me anxious, and this moon lamp's supposed to help with that. It isn't. Oh boy. Listen to me going on. You sure are easy to talk to, or at. Sorry. You'll get a lot of that around here. Don't worry about it. How can I help? That's a real kind of you. I've got something in the works that should help in the long term, but for now, if you find anything that'll help keep the rest of my brains awake while I sort post, that would be epic. I'll be on the lookout. I guess you can't really help me with a party, right? Nah, but you should ask Hob. He lives next door, and he makes these chocolate cakes that are to die for. That's really helpful. No problem. Good luck. I can the lemon. Just... Huh? This is addressed to me. Okay. No return address. I want to be That's just a theft, buddy. Um. Right. Let's let's go see Hob. Hob is a most excellent rat. What I recall. I think Hob and Baxter are probably two, are two guys. Hello, come sit with me. The almost five to it. Use the new chunk on the Sada di Bash, yes? Yes. I'm Hob, pleased to meet ya. Okay. You need any help with stuff? I am an expert in many things. Oh, I'd love some help. Rat. What can you do? I can bake you a cakey. You just try and stop me. 
a nice vegan doggy side chucky kaiki. Because the hund is coming, and that's their fife. And they're my fife. But wouldn't you know it? I'm missing some things. What do you need? Last sleepover, I left my doggy safe cock with the hund's lap across the island. I need it back. Plus, a beetroot is reserved for me at the farm. Take this ticket and fetchy fetch quest me all that stuff, yes. What's the ticket for? You hand this over at the farm and walk away with a fine beetroot and your life. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> okay, that's all for now. Thanks. Not cool. all for now. Take a look around, but my stuff is not for pinching. I will be looking around and trying not to pinch. All right. Oh. All, All right. right. All right, here we go. I would offer that we could watch some podlork, but we don't media cheat on the hund. Mm -mm. A painting by an artist friend. It really gives me life, you know? Warm. We're still in the middle of a battle, but who has fortified this citadel with citrusy defenses? <laughs> this is forbidden. Get this zesty rule breaker out of my sight. I shall have harsh words for somebody later. Warm. 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 We're still in the middle of a battle. Warm. Warm. I paint the psychedelic colorscapes of my mind. These are for my exhibition in a few moons. Not touchy. Pretty. Warm. Warm. Carefully catalogued crafting kits for quilling, wood turning, and trendy decoupage. Meets off. Warm. And like he offered. Offered for me. I know it's a no pinchy beast. Microwave so cookbooks, functions and flagons manuals, and vintage gamey tapes provide hours of fun for the indoor rat. Warm. Warm. Wanna spin some frog rock sound checks? Vintage TV themes played by sad brass bands? No? All right. Warm. Warm. My yarn stash for knitting ultra complicated but somewhat hideous items. Already assigned to projects. Warm. Warm. Fraxnar, the killer of characters. I have to cover him with a little tarpaulin when Bugs to come to play now. <laughs> Warm. Warm. Robo Anarchy costs 2x pocket money, and his interloper detector needs new batteries daily. No touchy! Warm. Go on, go through. Oh, Warm. Warm. Please wash your hands. Warm. See this? Pasta maker for all your middle class stylings. Use once, put in cupboard. I've used mine. You put least. the sheet of dough in at here, least turns the handle, and out pops your pasta shapes. This one is rubbish. Only cuts great white ribbons, which is like not my pasta playstyle, you know? But it was such a straight up bargain at the yard sale, I really want to find a use for it. Hmm. Warm. Want a coffee boy as well? Warm. Coffee is a great pick-me-up, but a crowd-pleasing party drink it is not. Plus, the hund is not allowed coffee. Warm. Warm. The aid of the kitchen is the nemesis of careless fingers. Warm. Ooh. 
Lovely lemonade drinky. And lemon. And lemon. I'm gonna take a screenshot. A cake that I wanna make. Try to feed to it. Yes, the creepy area. An ancient statue of the fairy warrior who protects the island. No wonder this place feels so safe. He's a nice player. This. Everything feels soft. Hard water. Wow. Good frog. Time's arrow. In memory of our dearly departed friends who are always in our hearts. Over here! Oh, hello! I'm Cosmos! Hey, Cosmos. You're helping Baxter out, aren't you? Where That's am? right nice of you! Where is hello, friend. Can you help me arrange the party? Straight to business. Everybody loves the music I make. But it's really hard to get inspired when the one you love is away. I'd offer some dang tracks for the party made from the freshest samples, but... Without Astrid, the well runs dry. You live here? I do. Astrid lives here too. But she's been bigified since the accident, so she's not home right now. She found a comfy spot at the crossroads and won't move. I worry, so I keep tabs on my tabby with the telescope. I go to see her daily too, but she's real grumpy, and she tells me to go home. The accident? I'm a bit sketchy on the details, but Astrid visited Dr. Hund and came back and biggened. She says there's a way to turn her back, but nobody has a suitably robust box for the magic spell. You should ask her about it. It's not really my wheelhouse. Is there some way I can help? Would you? If there's anything you can do to bring Astrid home, I'd be eternally grateful. I miss her. She might seem like she's been drinking grumble juice, but she's lovely, really. For now, our podcasts are on hiatus, and DJ Lethal Beans is in retirement without his muse. DJ Lethal Beans? It's my DJ pseudonym. What? Though, disclaimer, my beans aren't actually lethal. Well, that's all for now. Thanks. 
drop by anytime. It's Faye, Faye and Martin. Mark, sorry, sorry, dude. Um, but yeah, these are their actual cats. That one's obviously just the drone, but this is a photo. This is a photo. Light for Astrid cat. That's a lot of final. A proper audio setup for podcasting and mixing. Hey, kitty. Oh. us this puzzle cube, but he told us we can re-gift it if it's too much of a challenge. It is too hard for me, and Astrid says she doesn't have anything to prove. Have you heard the ads? 500 puzzles in one cube! There's a fiver in there too, but I can't figure it out. You'd be welcome to it, if only I could push it down. But I'm a warrior, not a warrior. Dog. <sighs> a concentration chair. Ooh, okay. Twitter bird, no, stay, stay seated. Twitter bird? Oh, oh they. What you want, human? Oh, you're a very big cat. I'm Astrid. I'm extreme beauty. Do not touch. How come you're so big? Rude. <laughs> Science accident at lab. Dog's fault entirely. Next question. Can you help me with the party? Nope, jog on. <laughs> Can you move or are you stuck? I could, but I won't try. I'm Cat. I'm extreme comf here. Yes, I'm blocking only past the rest of Ireland. Inconvenient for you? Don't care. I'm Cat. Sure. Are you okay? I'm quite annoyed. Preferred being smaller. This is the only place I fit that's comfy. Everywhere else I roll down the hills, or there's trees poking me all over, or there's a big drink all up in my area. Cosmos comes to see me, but I'm no fun to be around because I don't feel right. Poor Cosmos. Can I fuss you? Nope. 
You may admire from afar only. <laughs> Poor Tabby. How can I help you? What science hath wrought, only logic can undo. Per the ancient texts, if I fits, I sits. And if I sits, I fits. I could work the magic to get small, if I had the right thing for sits. This magic requires a box. A nice, robust, brown cardboard box. Sounds nonsense, but that's magic. Well, that's all for now. Thanks. You're welcome, Hoomin. Please leave alone for foreseeable future, unless bringing a box for magic. Alright, oh. duty beds are. Down little dog. Alright. This is where my little pal Baxter lives. Hello, friend. How are you getting on? Okay. How are you doing? Not so great. I wonder if you can help with my RPG quandary. Since Enquiliath the wizard met his demise, I've rolled up a new character. Oh no. What happened? We tried to take on something too powerful for our party, and I had some unlucky rolls. Character death. Sometimes things don't go your way, but I liked Inquilia, so I'm still sad about it. How can I help? I'm a bit of a method actor, so my bard, Marigold the Mellifluous, needs a loot. Can you keep your eyes peeled for something suitably stringed? Oh yeah, that fox. I'll rob the fox. Will do. <laughs> well, see you later. Alright, it's these little this little sound effect of Toodles! <laughs> Baxter has good taste. I know, right? And yet there's always someone who doesn't dig it, making party playlists an impossible task. Sure, we all feel the sound of DJ Lethal Beans, but he hasn't dropped a fresh beat for ages. Do you like it? <laughs> I love pandas! Reminds me of, you know, when you hear your dog come running to you from... Seems Baxter really likes music, and likes making it, too. I'm a punk rocker and I fight for justice! <laughs> An old school TV! He's got a VHS player, and one of those retro consoles that looks like a VHS player. Books on music, origami, pandas, zebras, and badgers. The cats love to hate the red dot. They go <laughs> all out. Or at least Cosmos does. Feel that, I guess. A massive collection of well-loved retro games. That's the hat I wore for the wizard in Quiliath before he was struck down. <laughs> Final books, crafting. Baxter's a chill little dude. 
final book. Hello, friend. Let me know if you find something suitably... Well, toodle. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We're just gonna play it till uh, Baxter, but now I've got the laser points, but I wanna go see the cat. Oh, I'm using the C word and the over there. Oh, I found it. Obi! Obi! Baxter says this makes Cosmos go wild. I should use this somewhere else. I'm going to call it at that moment. I'm not as far as I had been on my first playthrough, but I was playing through it quite some time. Um, this is Shindig. You should definitely check it out. There's also a great interview we've got uh, with Riku, interviewing Bay and Martin, creators of this wonderful little game uh, on the chatbot series. So go check that out, please. It does help us a lot if you could just drop a like, subscribe, whatever. Um, and yeah, no, go check out Shindig. It's really good for just a chill, peaceful afternoon. Probably smash out in a day. Um, yes, yeah, and that shamed chill fun. I love it. Anyway, thank you very much. Join me next time. Well, I'll probably be playing some more horror as Bandit suggested a game to me which looks fucking horrifying. So, ciao.